Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 and this is going to be a short video to help you people that may be considering leaving the full-time RVing, van dwelling, car living lifestyle and going back to a sticks and bricks home. Well this video is going to help you because this is going to be like therapy, okay? What I'm going to show you is how you do the thing called re-entry because a lot of you may have forgotten some of the small things that go with living in a sticks and bricks home. First of all, I'll show you there's wooden steps here. you got to get used to those because in your RV they're different and they're smaller. Then you come across this. this is called a patio. You don't have one like this at all because it's concrete. Now, the first thing you'll step up to here is called a door. Okay, now that handle, this right here, this is called, this is called a doorknob. All right. Now most of you are used to reaching up there and pulling to open your door. Well, that you don't have to do that. And, but don't let it scare you. You just turn it and push. Not a problem. You got that? And then you come into a large area which is called a room. This happens to be a kind of a breakfast dining area. Don't let the, don't let all the space scare you. Okay, you're fine. Everything's going to be okay. Just stay with me. I mean, first time I came in here, I was somewhat traumatized by being in this large space with all these open windows. And look at that large piece of furniture, which you haven't seen in years. And over here, a, a, this is actually, believe it or not, a refrigerator. I know you haven't seen anything like that in years if you've been full-time RVing. And if you've been living in a van, you may not have seen one in, in your whole life. And this over here is a huge stove. You don't have that in your RV, I guarantee you and a full-size microwave, etc. How about this? A double sink, large, stainless steel. You'll get used to it, though. I'm going to help you. Just stay with me. Then we go into what is called the restroom, which has a door again, and it has a little thing there to keep the door from slamming, which you don't have. But you, you'll, you'll learn these things. I mean, I, I'm trying to help you. This is, again, a therapy. It's like, it's like you came into a doctor's office and you laid down on the couch and you're telling me, you said, look, dog, I tried to go into a house and I just couldn't do it. I, I just didn't have the courage. Well, that's what I'm trying to help you over that first step. Okay, so you reach up here again, put your hand on the little round deal like this, and then turn it. And then push, and guess what? It opens. Amazing, isn't it? It's not that hard to get used to these things. Okay, now this right here it happens to be a, a shower area in this particular building, which could be a home. And what you're going to notice is, every, look at all the space, huh? Now, if you're in a van, this is Disney World, because you, you, you don't even have this. If you're in an RV, uh, you certainly don't have this in your bathroom. You may have a little bit more space, but not a hell of a lot. And we're, the scariest thing is behind that door right there, and we'll get over that in a minute. The next scariest thing is in here. This is what's called a shower, large and it has a vent fan. Now, we all have vent fans in our RVs. Most of us do, or even in your van. But uh, notice that in this particular shower stall, you have room to stand up, okay, all the way. If you're six foot six, you can still take a shower in here without having to pick, pick up the head here and do that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? This one right here, it stays there in the wall, believe it or not. And there's the nozzle that handles the temperature and the pressure of the water. And, but that's pretty easy, okay? And then, of course, you've got a nice sliding shower curtain. Over here, you've got some privacy. You've got some place to hang your clothes, plenty of room. You can turn around. You, know, you can swing your arms, stretch your arms above your head and all that stuff, and you don't touch anything. Now, to the scariest part of all is the sticks and bricks are home toilet which you are not used to, you've complete and completely forgotten it. Now, if you've been using the luggable loo, this could be very traumatic. Now, for those of you that live in an RV and have a semi-flush toilet, this will not be too bad. But for those of you that are boondocking, this could be very traumatic. So just bear with me because you can do it. Just keep telling yourself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, okay? So what you do, just put your hand on this little deal here and pull it open like this. And what you see in front of you is a toilet. Okay? Don't be scared. It's okay. But, guess what? There's no foot flush. Where do you put your foot? See there? Nothing happens. You see anything happen? No, the water's not moving. And for those of you that have sliders, there's no slider. There's none. None. Okay? 
So how do you get the water out? Huh? <laughs> For those of you in the Luggable Lou group, you're in trouble here. Because what you've got to do is, see this little handle? Push it down. And look what happened. <laughs> miracles and miracles, huh? You like that? The water gone? Not yet. Watch this. It fills up by itself. You hear me? So all you foot flushers and sliders, <laughs> a miracle, okay? Plenty of room there. You know, you can stand up. You know, you could really enjoy taking a dump there, okay? Is that good? Well, if that's your thing. But now, that's about it on all the hard stuff that I can think of other than space. See, this thing has room. I mean, you almost hear an echo in here. See, this could be a home, dining, or living area. You got me? See the little sofa there, and there's the little table with the phone, and another lamp, and plenty of windows, a ceiling fan, which you have not seen in years, maybe you have, depends on what you live in, and another one over there. But look at all this space. I mean, I can walk. Let me show you what I can do. I can walk one, two, three, four, five, six steps in one direction and turn around, okay? And I haven't hit a wall yet. So you got to get used to that. But again, I'm just trying to help you because for those of you that may be going visiting friends and relatives around Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff, and you're a little scared because you know <laughs> that you may not be able to do it, right? Don't worry. Everything will be okay now that I've helped you. Just remember, and I'll go do it again, show you one more time with this thing. You don't reach up and pull, okay? Will not open the door. You have to take your hand on this little round object and turn it and pull it like, I say turn it and pull it like this. See how easy that is? So anyway, that's been my instructional video related to re-entry. In other words, when you're re-entering the world of houses, you need to know this. For you RV full-timers, you boondockers, you van dwellers, and you car dwellers, these are important things. You must remember that. Just keep saying to yourself, I can do it. I can do it. And there was even a movie about taking baby steps, you know what I mean? But just look around. Don't be scared. I'm going to show you one more time. See how big this is? All this space, big refrigerator, no problem. Don't let that scare you. Don't let it intimidate you. It opens the same way as the one in your RV. Well, with one exception. It doesn't lock shut, okay? And then the, remember the toilet. No fear, right? Push the little handle, water goes out, and it refills by itself. <laughs> no foot flush, no slider. Thumbs up, guys. Adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link in the description of my video. I appreciate it. it doesn't cost you a penny. What else? Stretch, drink, plenty of water. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let in negative thoughts. That's it. Adios, amigos. But don't let homes traumatize you. You can do it. Remember that. You can do it.